An infinitely beautiful pair of actors Rami Schneider, Rosemary Magdalena Albach, and Alain Delon. They were together for only five years. But for Rami, this love turned out to be eternal lifelong. But who was Romy to Elaine? And why did he act so cruelly with the one who loved him for 24 years without any conditions? Romy Schneider and Alain Delon met, as is usually the case with actors, during the filming of the film Christina in 1958. They played the main roles. Interestingly, the young people did not immediately like each other. Playing love on the playground, they exchanged harsh barbs in life. Romy later recalled her impression of Delaunay, too handsome, too curly-haired, too young a boy dressed like a gentleman, in a shirt and tie, and in too fashionable clothes. For me, it was all tasteless, and the boy was uninteresting. Twenty-year-old Romy Schneider was already a European star at that time. Her role in the trilogy about the Austrian Empress Sissi made the actress a national idol. But Delan, who was 23 at the time, was still little known, he was just starting his career. In the film, he was supposed to be a beautiful addition for a famous German movie star. Moreover, Alain and Romy were completely different in their social background and upbringing. She grew up in a nice house and was used to luxury. Delan seemed rude to her. He had a very difficult childhood and youth behind him, which he spent as a soldier in the Indochina War. However, film romance did its job, and the young people soon found a common language. Knowing her family's dislike of the violent French, the actress diligently hid her feelings from her domineering mother and stepfather. However, one day during filming in Vienna, Romy's mother found her daughter in a hotel room in the arms of Elaine. The family of the young actress hoped that their romance would end with the filming of Christina, and everything pointed to this. After the filming was completed, Delon flew to Paris, but Romy. She was supposed to fly by plane to Cologne, to the country where she is a superstar, adored by the audience and in demand by the directors. However, at the last moment, she changed her mind and changed the flight direction to Paris. After landing in France, Romy was happy to call the surprised Elaine from a phone booth. He rushed to his beloved and took her to his friend's apartment. It is in this humble place that they will spend time, which Romy will later remember in his notes as the most beautiful and crazy. The French actor showed an intelligent, educated girl a completely different life than the one she had known so far. Now she was free of everything, especially moral constraints. The actress, raised on bourgeois morality, exchanged high society for the liberated Parisian Bohemia. In France, the situation had changed. Romy was practically unknown here. Not knowing French, she could not count on interesting offers, but Delon's career was gaining momentum. Despite his mad love, Delon was in no hurry to propose to Romy. The only thing Alain agreed to after the insistence of Romy's stepfather was to hold an engagement ceremony, which in fact did not oblige him to anything. But for some reason Romy was sure that now they would always be together. As it turned out, the talented actor had other plans for life in which, alas, there was no place for Romy. Starting in the 60s, Delon's career began to develop with incredible acceleration. He was already one of the top five actors in France, starred with famous directors in films that became rental hits. Needless to say, the handsome and already popular Delon was not faithful to his Romy. On the contrary, he used almost every opportunity to strike up a fleeting romance. Romy was tormented by jealousy, which led to endless quarrels, but each time ended in reconciliation and forgiveness. And Romy dreamed of stability, a family and children with Delon, whom she loved infinitely. The actress once confessed to her friend that Alain is the man of her life and she is ready to give everything in the world just to become his wife. She didn't want any other fate for herself. In September 1963, before leaving for the USA to shoot another film, the actress eloquently wrote to her friends, Now I'm going abroad. I am thinking of you and I will come back, hopefully in the form of Madame Delon. However, Alain went in a completely different direction and dealt Romy a huge blow. Romy Schneider learns that Alain is leaving her from a letter sent by a friend of Delon. The actor did not have the courage to say everything, looking into his eyes. I wonder if he was aware of the extent of the pain that Romy would feel when reading the soulless letters on a white sheet. 
She is not even worthy of explanations and words of regret. It was as if these five years full of love, passion, and hope for a wonderful future had never happened. Of course, this news had a very strong effect on the actress. She fell into a severe depression and even made attempts to leave forever. Why life, if the one who made up its meaning betrayed? Rami will write in his diary. After the betrayal, I was destroyed, confused, humiliated. Delon's decision was all the more terrible because shortly after breaking up with his fiancée in 1964, the actor officially married model Natalie Canova, Bartholomew by her first husband, with whom he began an affair while still in a relationship with Rami. In the same year, the couple had a son. Romy honestly tried to exist without Elaine. In 1966, the actress married the German director Harry Mayen. In her marriage, her beloved son David was born. The boy became a consolation and reward for Schneider's suffering. And it seems that life has gradually begun to enter a calm channel. Schneider shoots a lot, brings up her son, and really wants to feel happy. But Delon was always invisibly present in her heart. As soon as he calls, Romy immediately ruins his quiet life. Delon, by that time already a divorced and free man, invited her to star in Jacques Duray's film, The Pool Together. The actor understood that with Romy's participation, the picture is doomed to success because the public has not yet forgotten the unhappy love story of Romy and Elaine. On the set of The Pool, the romance of the two actors broke out with renewed vigor, which was reflected on the screen. However, after the success of the film, Delon again went into the shadows, without offering Romy his hand and heart. The relationship between Romy and her husband broke down, and in 1973 they divorced. Harry Mayen became a heavy drinker after the divorce and committed suicide in 1979. The actress' second husband was her personal secretary, Daniel Biazzini. Their daughter Sarah Biazzini would later also become a film actress. Over time, Romy came to terms with the fact that she would never build a family with Delon and they became good friends. The last years of her life will be especially difficult for Schneider. She was still filming a lot, but her strength was failing her. There were also insurmountable contradictions in her relationship with her husband Daniel Biazzini, and Schneider filed for divorce. And in 1981, something happened in her life that she could not survive. On July 5, 1981, Romy Schneider's son, David, died in an accident. Climbing over the fence of his grandmother's villa, the boy lost his balance and ran into iron bars with his stomach. He was only 14 years old. Romy became depressed and began abusing alcohol and sleeping pills. The film's under-preliminary investigation and the passerby from Sans Souci became the last in the life of a talented actress. In the early morning of May 29, 1982, the actress was found leaning over her desk without signs of life. The press immediately announced that Romy herself had passed away. However, her family and new lover Schneider claimed that her heart simply couldn't stand it. After all, there was a shoot with Delon ahead, she couldn't have missed it. Stress, alcohol, and medications caused her to leave in a hurry. Why did Alain leave Romy? In his book, Elaine Delon wrote, She is from that social class that I hate the most in the world. It's not her fault that, unfortunately for her, she was shaped by this layer. In five years, I have not been able to eradicate what she was vaccinated with 20. There are two, three, even four Elaine Delons in me. There are two Romy Schneider in her. She knows it herself. I loved one Romy more than anything in the world and hated the other one just as much. 